Hi guys, uh, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we will see uh, the second important tutorial on CSS that is benefits and drawbacks. What are the benefits and drawbacks of CSS? First we will go through the benefits and we will go through the drawbacks. Then. So before learning any language, uh, we should learn what are the benefits, where we should use those and uh, if we are not aware of the benefits, uh, we don't know the importance of that particular language. So before learning any language, we should know benefits as well as drawbacks, so that uh, we can tell uh, it is recommended to use or not. So first, benefits of CSS. The first one is reusability. So we can define one CSS and we can use this CSS across multiple web pages. So this is the main and uh, very important benefit of CSS, that is reusability. We can define one CSS and we can use this CSS across multiple web pages and the second difference is css saves time so how it saves time as we can use the same css for the multiple web pages suppose if we have to change the color or font across the multiple web pages what we can do is we can change in a single css and instead of changing in the multiple web pages so instead of changing the color in the multiple web pages if we define css so we can make a global change and can get and can get benefit out of it and third one is easy maintenance and uh, like this suppose saves time so what happens is instead of changing if you want to change multiple web pages it takes more time suppose if you want to change a single file it takes less time this is how we can uh, benefit by using CSS it saves time and third one is easy maintenance so how easy maintenance can be achieved uh, suppose uh, today I have an uh, web page with color red in uh, 100 web pages now i want to change the color to blue in all the 100 web pages so what i need to do is just i need to change a single css so the maintenance is very easy when compared to the other languages like html and fourth w3c recommendation so w3 strongly recommended to use the css why because it is simple easy to learn adaptable and flexible so uh, w3c strongly recommends to use css in our web applications fifth one file size so file size so assume that if i want to define uh, if i am not using css so what what is the problem here is suppose if i want to define any styles for my html page i have to define across multiple pages if there are multiple pages so there is a chance of duplicacy of code suppose if i am defining a css in one file and i am reusing them across multiple web pages what happens is the code in all the web pages gets, I mean, all HTML pages get reduced, and we can use a single CSS across the multiple uh, HTML pages. Like this, we can reduce the file size of the HTMLs and supported by multiple browsers. CSS is supported by multiple browsers. Multiple browsers are CSS supports multiple browsers. And the next one is drawbacks of CSS. So, the main drawback of CSS is developer has to test the CSS across multiple browsers. Why? Because the look and feel might change across different browsers. So some browser versions might not support, some older versions might not support, so some earlier versions will support, some uh, latest versions will support and some old versions will not support. So this is the main drawback of CSS. Rest everything is very good with the CSS. So these are the benefits and drawbacks of CSS.